and away we go. Howdy, this is Skippy with On The Fly Photography doing another Lightroom tutorial. This time we're going to be talking about a plugin that allows you to send your photos out via Twitter. So this is a fantastic plugin. First, I'm going to show you Plugin Manager. This is it, Lightroom Twitter. It is by, and I'm totally going to mutilate this guy's name, Jeffrey Friedel, which may or may not be the correct way to pronounce his name. So Jeffrey, if I'm screwing up your name, I apologize. Now, what I also wanted to show you here is this is Plugin Manager. This is where the plugin is installed. And Jeffrey's Lightroom plugins are fantastic because they can all update right through this really easily so I was going to show you how this works before I show you the other stuff you'll see it's telling me that version blah 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 is now available you hit the upgrade now button it's going to show you this clean up old version keep that checked that's going to take the old version of the plugin out for you download and install now hit that you see your little status message it is downloading oh and sometimes that happens that is that is sad that is very very sad so when that happens what you have to do is manually upgrade I'm gonna try it one more time to see if I can get it to go normally this works flawless oh there we go it worked that time that's what it looks like when it works flawlessly you'll see your message version blah 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 has been installed hit done now in order to get it going because we've upgraded it we have to either reload the plugin or restart Lightroom. Reloading the plugin is really easy. Right down here, there's a button that says Reload Plugin. Hit that, it's going to reload it. There we go. You can check for a new version manually anytime you want by hitting that. It's going to tell me right now we got the newest one. You can also get to Jeffrey's uh, website by hitting the link up here, Jeffrey's blog, or up here, the plugin homepage. And I've got the plugin homepage up. I'm going to link to this. This is what it looks like. These are all Jeffrey's Lightroom plugins. And as I just happened to come over here, because I haven't hit his blog in a while, I saw, look at this. I have not installed these yet. Here is one for putting Creative Commons licensing information into your Lightroom metadata. I just did a bunch of CC work. I totally needed this. Here it is. I'm going to be installing this later today. It looks fantastic. And over here, we have one he's written called Folder Status. I have a workflow documentation book where I document my workflow, like have I keyworded the files in a folder, you know, have I done post-processing, everything else. This is, Jeffrey has created a plugin for Lightroom that allows you to document that type of information right in Lightroom. I don't know anything about this yet. I haven't installed this one yet either. Just discovered it literally 10 minutes ago. But as you might be able to tell, I am excited to test both of those. Jeffrey's plugins for Lightroom are fantastic. Okay, you need to go here. They do work for a most of them work for a limited amount of time for free, and then the limitations kick in. Whatever you have to donate, the donation amounts vary based on the plugin. You know, the Twitter is one of those where I think you contribute what you want to contribute so you don't have to give him thousands of dollars and stuff and believe me they are so worth it if you look over here you'll see I have a number of his I've got his collection publisher his export quality his play Facebook you'll see some of these my trial period have has expired because I don't use them that much I've just been testing them the smug mug which I need to really the video assets okay so he makes awesome awesome plugins you really need to go check these out okay that's enough plugging Jeffrey I do not get any money if you buy Jeffrey's plugins or use them okay I am simply talking about them because they are wonderful as you're about to see with this Twitter plugin so I have developed this photo and now I want to send this out on my Twitter stream I hit control shift E to bring up the export dialog and I have a preset created which is right here and so this is what you're gonna see export to out of your options you're gonna see one that says JF Twitter so that's what you want to select for your export your Twitter accounts if you have multiple Twitter accounts you can have those in here right now I'm logged in as on the fly photo when you first get it you'll have to input your Twitter account you know do the verify via Twitter thing that you're probably familiar with if you're a Twitter user once you've done that it's in here you can apparently export video files to Twitter. I have never done that, so I cannot comment on how that works. 
you've got your file settings. You can JPEG, you can set your quality, you can set a limit file size. Your image settings, you can resize. On mine, I do 600 by 600 for my Twitters. Watermarking, it's again, you know, a lot of this is the same as the exporting in any other Lightroom function. You can set one of your watermarks. Develop snapshots, you can have it create a snapshot with each upload or maintain a most recent upload snapshot if you want to do that. I don't do that, it's available. Now, tweet text, what are you photographing? This is where you're going to put in the text that goes with this photograph. So, you click in there and you put in the text you want. And I am working on an old shoot. Gotta get up to date. Now, be sure after you put in your text, and you can insert your hashtags here, you can insert your at replies or at tags, anything like that. Be sure you click right here. Click after editing tweet text. That you know makes it stick or whatever. Image type. Is it sensitive? You know, is it naked people or stuff like that you can do that and you can enable geotagging if you're into having stalkers on Twitter I personally am not once you've done that you just hit export you'll see up here sending one item to Twitter rendering image blah 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 it's doing its thing and that picture is going out to Twitter in your let me bring up the export dialog one more time it also has a thing right up here visit your Twitter so if we click on that, it's going to take me to my Twitter page. And look at that, recent images. We're going to see there is my image. Eventually, yep, there she is. Well, there they are. And here are some other ones I sent up recently using this very same plugin. We can pop on back. We'll look at my Twitter feed. There it is, working on old shoot, blah, blah. There's my hashtag. And there's my link. So there it is. I mean, if you like sending stuff to Twitter, you want to do it from right in Lightroom, want to send out your photos, I mean, it's simple, it's easy, it works that quick. You just export it. If you've got your presets already set, all you got to do is type in your Twitter text right down here and go. Here's my preset for Creative Commons watermark. You know, here's my preset for my time, place, photography, my other thing. So all of that, whoops. Hey, I've actually got the wrong thing in there. I need to fix that. Good thing I looked at that. All right. Got the wrong watermark on that. So anyhow, there it is, man. It's that freaking simple. Love this plugin. Love the plugins that Jeffrey makes. Go check out his stuff. Links below. All right. Thanks a lot. Y'all have fun. Bye-bye.